I welcome everyone to our first English speaking Spike webinar of this session. As you have seen on social media in our email and from our partners uh, worldwide, this webinar is special because it's a special time for everyone and we hope that everyone is safe um, and um, at home. So we want to use that time to give you an impression and to explain you exactly what is Spike, who can use it, who benefits of it, what are the benefits, and especially in this meeting, we want to show you Spike live. So we will go later onto our machine and we will introduce our application engineer who is running the machine. And here you will see Spike recording machining data live. Today's speaker is Leonard Riley, that's me. I'm the team leader for international sales. I take care of the international partnerships and direct uh, sale for our customers worldwide. So before I introduce now the agenda of today's webinar, let's start with the key facts of Spike. How does today's industry work and how you can benefit of Spike? I would like to explain you with one concrete example from the industry. Here you can see the condition of a end mill with four fluids and you see the new status, you see the same tool worn and you see the tool worn out with a broken cutting edge. What you can also see is that this tool condition, this tool wear, um, has a significant influence on the component quality, so to the surface quality of the workpiece. In today's machining process, however, this can only be detected by visualization with your eye or with a microscope after the machining process. So the main question is probably and surely everyone knows this example and knows how tool wear leads to wet surface quality. The special thing of Spike is that we can visualize the forces on each cutting edge and we do this with Spike Polar. So this is the information you can get with Spike. You see the forces on each cutting edge of the new tool. You can even see that we can measure the uh, sharp, um, the forces on the sharp um, cutting edges. If the tool is wearing out, the forces increase, the angles change acting on each cutting edge. And even if one cutting edge is broken, which is a significant mistake in your process, we can detect that because we will have no forces acting on that cutting edge. Spike Polar can be read by the process experts who has the knowledge and who have the understanding um, to read that data. The machine in production should also be able to read that. And that's why we have developed deep performance indicators. We call them Spike KPIs. So automated algorithms to analyze and to monitor the situation of the spike polar design in order to have a direct relation or a conclusion to the surface quality, which is machining right now. And with these yellow, red, uh, uh, green, yellow, red signals, you can even communicate with the machine. And for example, a red light could give a machine action and stop the machine or tell the machine change the tool because it is one cutting edge has been broken and therefore you will produce worse quality than expected. But how do we do this? We do this with the Spike technology and Spike technology is a system for direct measurement of forces and moments. You see the moments in green directly on the tool. 
The special, uh, the second special issue is, which I have introduced already before, is that we can, with a bending moment, so measuring the moments directly on the tool holder, we are able to see the forces on each cutting edge, and we do this with spike polar, which is, by the way, a patented function. Now, I would like to introduce our DMU75 monoblock machine from DMG Mori. And this is the key expectation you can have from this meeting. We will have a live stream of our applications. You will have a view into the machine room with this huge screen. And here you can see a camera we have placed inside the machine in order to show you the machining operation. At the same time, we have another machine in front of the machine in order to give you an impression and to give you a view like we, as we would do the live demo on your machine. On the right screen with the blue um, area, here we will show you later on the spike measurement software called Tool Control Center. And these are the three tool holders, three spike mobile tool holders, which we are going to use in these operations. And here I already want to introduce our application engineer, Dirk Missing. We will jump into the machine in some, um, some more slides, and here you will see him in action as well. So, what's the agenda for today? Today's meeting, the topic is what is Spike and what are the benefits? This is the key message I would like to introduce today to you. First, we go into theory and I want to introduce the Promicron GmbH, our company, to you. And then I will present the Spike technology with its benefits, how to use it with the features of Spike Polar, and I will directly answer some questions and answers directly. But the key thing is that I want to show you live how to set up Spike as a plug and play solution. And we will go into the operations with Spike for face milling, for drilling, for milling with the end mill. And again, we will answer your questions. At the end, I will uh, ask you to, uh, to get a feedback and to have an outlook. Uh, and I want to give you an outlook on the upcoming sessions. So let's talk about Promicron, who we are. Let me say we feel us as experts for wireless sensor systems in monitoring and controlling tasks. And I might say we also rightly see ourselves as innovation hub in the industry of digital machining because of our patented products which give really a big innovation for you into the industry. Which business units does Promicron have? Here we have three big ones. It's food assist, it's tool control, and it's e-motion. The main one, and the main one we want to talk to you today is the tool control area. Here we have, um, um, we supply one solution, one a complete system, which comes from one company, Promitron. So we have software, hardware, and sensors all included. Here we talk about Spike Mobile and Spike and Spindle. In the tool control industry, we talk, we we follow a, a vision and we have a mission with Spike, and this is something that is also addressing to you because. We want to set a standard in digital machining together with our partners along the value chain. And if I look at all these companies who are joining this meeting, I already see the whole value chain. And this is the big message as well. Spike is a language or is a system um, with a language that everyone speaks the same language. in. And this is the vision we want to share with you. I want to give you a short introduction also to the other business units, food assist and emotion. In both business units, we use our tip 
um, um, products. This is temperature in process product. And on, in the food industry, we use the temperature system to measure the heat of the meat in the oven during cooking. And the probe can tell the, um, um, the, the oven how long the meat should still be in the oven. So if you want to have the, the meat medium rare, you just type it in in the um, computer of the oven and the uh, type probe will control the heat. Similar in the e-motion section for electricity, e-electric engines is also the upcoming industry. Um, in electric motion, e-motion, here we use the temperature system on the rotation parts on the electric engine to measure the temperature um, um, for the rotation parts in order to protect them for overheating because the magnets will probably uh, lose their performance. And so this is condition monitoring for an electric motor and not only by cables from outside, but also wirelessly temperature measurement from the rotor. So now I want to explain you how to use Spike and who needs Spike. The key user case for Spike is use it as monitoring tool in line production with machine connection. So here you have the sensors, we have the machine connection, and here you can see uh, a picture of line production as you also might have in production. And this is, for example, a concrete um, process, a critical process where we need the features of Spike in order to monitor the process and to visualize it directly into your machine interface. The second user case is diagnosis. Here, process experts, process engineers are using the Spike equipment as a diagnostic tool in order to get a better process understanding to optimize processes and even to adjust processes in order to reduce costs. And we will have another solution. It is also for the machinist itself. It will be a visualization system which will show you the process load in percentage for the machinist. And there are even options to connect it to a spike app to get an alert if something is wrong in your process. But these two are measurement systems for cost reduction and here it's for better process understanding and assistance of the machinists. What is this feature Spike Polar exactly? We spike, we show the bending moment acting directly at the tool. And if we have a force acting now from X, X direction, we transfer the, in the software, you will have our coordinative system and the forces will go into X direction. If we push now from Y direction, it will go into Y direction. If now the tool is spinning and has rotation, the E function of spike polar comes out and we can see the forces on uh, acting on each cutting edge during the process. How do you benefit of spike pull-out and the bending moment? In milling, if we call, talk about monitoring, we want to monitor the surface quality of your workpiece during production. And as you can see here, you have three different levels of toolware again, and you can see with spike pull-out how the missing forces on one cutting edge, because it's wearing out, is leading to more force in the other cutting edges. In drilling, we don't want to monitor the surface qualities, we want to monitor shape and position tolerances. And here you can see an entry drill and the exit drill. And in blue and red, you see the feed force and the torque, which is mostly known by you already. But with spike benefit, uh, the spike benefit is now that we measure also the bending moment. We show you the reflection of the tool. And here you can see now that uh, the um, whole number um, 12, 14, 16, and even 20 
has higher bending moment than the normal processes. And if we look at the quality and check, we see that especially 14 and 16 are out of the center. So we don't have, uh, we don't keep the position tolerance. So spike can help you to detect here bad quality of drilling holders. And the other benefit next to bending moment, but in spike polar is that spike polar can even tell you which kind of effect you will have in the drilling operation. If it's an offset, if it's a deflection, if it's a chipping and so on, this can be re read by the spike polar even better. So how does the process flow look like for our live demo? First, I will show you how to plug and play um, or how to set up the spike system in a plug and play function, hardware installation and software setup. After that, we will go to phase milling operation. We will have one phase milling operation with five new inserts. And then we will repeat the process, but one insert will be worn out. After that, we will do drilling operations with this 0.2 millimeter tool. So small tools where we will get small forces. Spy can detect that. And here you can see the process row. We will do two sessions. And in the first one, we will do with centering. Then we, have, we will have no centering. Then we will have an offset to the pre-center drill. And then we will have a tilting error of two degree. The last process will be side milling operation with a 12 millimeter tool on a regofix tool holder. And um, here we will do four cuts with a constant load, um, so constant AE. And at the end, we will do one cut. We will do a wedge milling in order to show you a special function. This is the workpiece which we are machining later on. So now I will start with the process setup, plug and play. This is the diagnostic set. It comes in a case which I have shown you before for the process experts. If we open up the case, we will have the tool holder itself, the sensory tool holder. We will have the spiked connect set, which is um, um, which belongs um, belongs the reed and the uh, antenna. We will have the software delivered on a USB stick, and we will have a charging system because the spike is running with battery, and you need to recharge the tool holder. In the case, you will have additional equipment like a cleaning method, like oil, or with the clamping wrench and high precision collet chucks, uh, collets. Um, for your diagnosis set. To set up the spike, you just need to connect the spike connect, so the read, uh, which we call it, via USB cable to the laptop and put the antenna on the read. Now open up the tool control center software. You can click here on the USB symbol to connect the read, which is here now connected. After that, you click on tool control in order to open all the functions. We want to go now in spike measurement. And the read will automatically analyze all running spikes which are in the area. So we select one tool order which we want to connect. We click on next. Here we are now in the meta setup for this spike with the serial number. And here I put in uh, Promicron, which process um, uh, the diameter, the process parameters in order to save them always. I select the data path in order to store the data and I define a name on, um, on that graph uh, for that file. And this is now the software, how it will look like. We will have the actual force here, we will have the torque here. And we will have the bending moment on the bottom, which is the same data like the spike polar, where we can see the forces on each cutting edge. The software is, has also a new design. We will have here the battery visualization, the signal strength, and the temperature of the tool holder, and how much packages you will we have received from the receiver. So let's go into the face milling operation where we have here 
this um, uh, inserted face mill tool holder. And um, now I would like to go to the machine, introduce our application engineer Dirk Missing, who has prepared the live demo already. So let's say hi everyone to Dirk, and Dirk, please come in to. Hello, welcome on the milling machine. Hello. There you can see Dirk Missing. You will see the live view into the operation, and you will see. Uh, you can check what uh, Dirk is doing during the machining process. He gave me now the access to the control and we are running here the spike software. So now we will go with the first operation and I will record the data. Here you see the actual force you see the torque and you see the bending moment graph and directly you see here the forces on each cutting edge. Some of you are spy customers, some of you are not. This is so basically for some of you the first time that you can see the forces on each cutting edge in a phase milling operation from your side. So now we had the new tools in it. Now Dirk will change the inserts um, to, um, with one worn one, and I will jump directly back to the presentation in order to show you the, di the data more in detail. Here again, you see the spike ring on the tool holder clamped directly on the tool holder, so we are able to measure the forces and the moments acting on that tool. This is one of the inserts we had, and the special thing is that we, we use our microscope to give you a better picture of the, um, of the tool wear status on, uh, on this new insert. This is only um, the um, cutting condition after the first tool. Now, um, Dirk will put in a worn insert which has been used for a second or th uh, for the, which will be used for the second and the third cut. And here you can see that we have um, damaged um, the cutting insert uh, by hand on the top. And here you see the round radius um, on the bottom of the insert. So Dirk is ready now. So let's go back uh, to, the, um, to the software. Let's stop the measurement from the first measurement I nearly forgot and now let's record the new measurement with the new um, with the new cutting process uh, process condition and see what happens to the inserts action force torque and bending moment and here you directly see what is happening to your inserts this is one of the key functions of spike uh, I can always repeat that, and even here now in the last cut where we have a smaller AP or smaller volume of cut, you can see that one cutting edge is having is more worn out than the others, and this is better to see in the spike polar instead of the, the normal graphs. So, um, Dirk, you will probably set up the new operation. And I will show no, you. No, uh, we make the uh, step again. Okay, let's do that again. We replay it. So you. I will record. The measurement. Let's go. So. Here again, you can see it. And it's shown very nicely that one cutting edge is more worn out than the other ones. So, and now I uh, prepare the next step. Perfect. Thank you for face milling. And we will go back to the presentation. So I will introduce the next case. Or even I want to show you now again in our tool analyzer software, you can use now the recorded data to compare it with each other. And what is special in, in this case? Here you see the process parameters we have used. 
and look at the torsion signal and the bending moment signal. The orange one and the blue graph in the torsion are exactly the same. So in torsion, you cannot see the tool wear on it. In bending moment, you can see it slightly because of a higher amplitude. But let's look at the spike polar. Here, the blue one is the new insert and the orange one is the worn insert. It is very nice to see the difference in here. But when we have different process conditions, we can even see it more nicely. Uh, the picture will change of spike polar because the load on the tool is different. And here you can see again um, the tool well. So let me summarize the benefit of spike in face milling. We see the forces per insert and tool wear can only be seen in the banding moment and in spike polar, not in torque which also relates that the spindle motor will not be able to identify it directly as well. So we will go into the next um, operation. It's drilling with a 4.2 millimeter. And here I told you about the special feature of spike with measuring the bending moment on the tool. And with these incidents, with these mistakes, we want to visualize this impact um, uh, on, your, on your quality and on your drilling operation. First, we will do with centering, then we will do without centering, then we will have the offset with 0.1 uh, millimeter, and at the end, you will see what is happening to the table um, of the machine table, it will have a tilting error of two um, degree. Dirk is right now setting and uh, the centering or doing the centering operations, so we can now directly jump into that. We will run every single section, every single case first, and we will stop the machine in order to show you and to, um, in uh, in detail. After that, after we finished all, we will run the whole operation again in one row. Uh, Leonard, yes. we don't stop the process. We have a time delay of five seconds between the holes. Perfect. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay, then I will jump back to the software. I will change. Thanks. I will change the spike. We have registered more spikes in the beginning. So the reed will directly wake up the next tool holder. And as you can see, it's already running. And I just need to, um, to record the data. So uh, the, can you go to the auto scale? Yes, I will auto scale. So you can see it okay. then better. So let's go. So now the first holes. The software the will it, yeah. the software will adjust the scale directly in order to show you the forces. You see here the feed force, the torque, and you see bending moment in this drilling operation. Here again you have seen there has the data looks a little bit different. We will see it more in detail later on. Now we will have the next section where we have the offset. Here you see really nicely how in the spike polar we will create, a, the spike polar will create a circle because of higher side forces acting in this drilling operation, which is leading to bad quality. So have you seen what happened to the table? Uh, here we have seen really nicely um, higher forces and which uh, what, um, what happened to the spike polar, the circle was getting even bigger. So now we can do the next poll. <laughs> Okay, I will I will stop recording and um, create a new file. Yeah.
And if I click again on record, we will we are able to record the whole measurement. So first operation recentering without is coming now. As you can see, there is a little delay between the operation um, and the, the video camera, but this is just because of the remote function. Okay, thank you, Dirk. So yeah. we will jump back into the presentation and read the data more in detail. Yeah, and I'll prepare the next machining process. Perfect. So here again, you see that we have now a 4.2 millimeter drill in this um, um, tool holder with a high precision collet chuck. And this is the blue and the red is the information you probably know from your spindle already. These are the feed forces and the torque signals. But what is missing and what can we give you with spike, pull, uh, with spike bending moment or with spike, we can give you the bending moment of every single hole, which helps you to monitor your process according to shape and position tolerance. <laughs> So look at first two operations where we had the uh, no offset. Then we had um, 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 with uh, without centering. Here, these two operations have been with an offset of 0 0.1 millimeter. And you can nicely see how even spike polar is getting a circle. And at the end, we had the operation where the table was moving. So again, summarize the benefits of spike. With spike, we can measure the banding moment. So we can monitor bad parts in production. Imagine all your thousand drilling holes you put in uh, mass production or even in components which are very expensive. You need to check every single quality, every single hole. Spike can help you to monitor these directly in process so you don't need to do that afterwards. And as we can see, we can even monitor small forces with small tools. So the next operation will be side milling with an end mill of 10 to 12 millimeter. Here we will run four constant cuts with a constant AE. And we will have AP four millimeter and AE one millimeter. So we can, we will see the forces on each cutting edge. And after that, we will run a wrench milling um, with a different AE from one to three in order to show you one special feature of our software. So there, I'm let, ready. Very good. Let's go into the uh, software. I changed the tool holder to the third one, which we have prepared. We will, the software will wake it up and mm -hmm. I will directly click record. You see how the forces are pulling, you see the torque, and you see um, the bending moment data and even the forces on each cutting edge. Okay, um, so Dirk, now we will record the same data and I will set up the trigger. Yeah. So I, will, I will stop the machine. I will go. Now I would like to show you a function which is used from the diagnostic tool into uh, monitoring. We will use the spike trigger function. So that means we will set up a command, a force command to the software in order to start the measurement automatically. So we will use a trigger which we have already recorded before. Here you can see that we have prepared one measurement file, um, one process and the measurement file 
which will be the repeating process in your operation. Imagine you have a mass production, always a repeating milling operation or even drilling. You can set up in the software this um, operation. We can even um, um, define um, uh, curves above and below that operation. Um, and we can set a force signal or even an M command um, from the machine to start that measurement. On the right side, you will see the spike polar live again. So now we have set up the process parameters. Um, we have um, selected um, a, a folder where we need want to store the uh, mass production data and we have the data file here. So let's start the, uh, the trigger. Data will be uploaded directly. This is the trigger setup and here you will see the second function of this trigger function that we, we can monitor the maximum um, tool load, the maximum bending moment over time with every single cut. So after clicking on monitoring, we will use two functions, uh, two monitoring functions. Um, if we hit, uh, if the forces will hit the um, upper curve, we, we can set an alarm or you have preset alerts for long time diagnosis in order if you reach that um, signal, the machine will also stop. So, Dirk? And I will also change the value of the uh, forces. Okay. So, I think we need a higher value. Okay, very good. So, we can see that. Okay, so I click on monitoring after you have adjusted. So oh. now you can start. I click on monitoring and you will run the operation. And now the software you can see here will directly record the data. We will have the constant cut here. And you will see that the software will add another maxi maximum level. The green graph is always the current one. In gray, you will see the last three cuts of the operation. And always you will see the spike polar on the right side. So I think in the next operation, we will run the ramp. And there you will see what happens to the force signal and what, what will happen um, to, the, to the alert function. Here we hit now, we have now more forces and the forces will hit the maximum maximum limit. So that's why we will have an alert from the software to the machinist. And now there are different options. You can use the Spike app for getting a mobile alert, or you can even see it in the software. Or if you go into production with M commands, and if you set up a machine connection, on processes which are critical, which really need this monitoring function, then you could even stop the machine based on this software. Okay, Dirk, thank you very much, and I will jump back into the presentation. Yeah, you're welcome. So here again, I want to repeat what we have seen. We have seen the Tool Control Center software with the trigger function. With the trigger function, here you can set um, um, curves above the, the um, average, uh, the, the force limit, and you can set long-term um, signals in order to monitor your process. Yeah? And in this case, we, we, we have run a RAM, um, so we change the AE in order to get more load than we have expected in the beginning in order to hit this alert, and as you have seen, um, the, the alert function uh, um, was running, uh, was heading up. Benefits of Spike in this case, with Spike it is possible to go with a diagnostic tool, to go into line production 
use the trigger function, force or even M command from the machine and set up alerts in order to monitor critical operations. The benefit is this, this spike is a retrofit solution. No need to set up a difficult machine connection straight from the beginning. You want to record long time data first. That's why you can um, use spike in a very plug and, uh, simple plug and play setup. And the next step afterwards could be that you set it up permanently with a machine connection. Then we are in the monitoring case and we call this spike easy inline. And, but we also do that only in operations where you really need the spike data and where we can save costs by having these features. What are the next actions? If you like what you have seen, and we would like to address, uh, address the question to you, if Spike is interesting for your company. And if yes, we would like to develop the customized solution exactly for your purpose. And, for, and we, um, I offer you to get in contact with our sales guys to discuss this in personal conversation. A few questions will help us to prepare this yeah? and you, you will receive a link after the meeting where you can list what are the main benefits, what you're looking for and how you think Spike could help you. Afterwards, our sales engineers can directly help you to how to use Spike and how to reach cost saving potential. So. Finally, I come to the end of this presentation and I want to summarize the messages you should remember about Spike and why Spike can help you. Again, I repeat, Spike is a direct measurement system of forces and moments at the tool. We are even able, with the patented function of bending moment, we are able to show you the, cut, the forces on each cutting edge during milling or drilling operations, which is relevant for surface quality monitoring. With the bending moment and spike polar, we can monitor critical operations. And we don't want, need to monitor all operations, but the operations where you really need these features and these, are, where these operations are mostly the ones where you have the highest costs. So monitor your surface quality or shape and position tolerances or even just negative events, which you need to check afterwards in the quality check. Drill deflection, offset, single cutting edge breakage, chattering, and so on. To summarize, and um, you can use Spike as a monitoring tool for mass production to reduce production costs. Process experts can use it as a diagnostic tool to improve the process performance and to get a better understanding or even to solve problems faster. And there will be an option for process visualization with, uh, with just a percentage load, um, um, which can be used as a, a um, assistance system from the machines. So thank you for having you in this first English speaking webinar. I hope I could reach your expectations. And now we have the chance to discuss some more points and to place your questions. And I will stay now in the meeting for a longer time in order to do so. Otherwise, we are looking forward to your feedback sheet and uh, to get in contact with you again. Thank you very much.